It's that time of year again. Christmas is just around the corner. Well, in Frankfurt at least, where the world's biggest Christmas ornament fair is taking place. Designer Damien Darocha has come all the way from Paris. The fact that the fair takes place so early is brilliant because it gives us time to be creative before Christmas and to develop our own sort of poetry. Damien Darocha decorates private homes as well as hotels and large scale events. He's been coming to Christmas World for the last 12 years. First, he scouts out the market. It's wonderful. You can place the wings anywhere, for example on the Christmas tree or behind this lovely Christmas bauble. Darocha is just one of the estimated 30,000 visitors expected this year. With some 900 exhibitors, the fair is the biggest of its kind. Exhibits range from traditional German handicrafts, as well as glasswork from Egypt, to pure kitsch, and the downright bizarre. It's Christmas overload. In the past, the Christmas tree was perhaps the centerpiece, and the baubles were hung on the tree. Now the tree is a part of the total decoration, and it's already set up during Advent and can be seen for four or five weeks. Next year's trends are already being showcased in Frankfurt, from the German forest all the way to the jungle and into the desert. Christmas knows no boundaries. A glance at some of the Christmas trees fashioned by the world's top designers reveals it's about more than the traditional. Among this year's creations is this metallic design by Darocha. There are definitely people who don't want a really traditional tree, but would prefer one that's more abstract and avant-garde. The highlight of this year's fair is the exhibit by designer Jean-Charles de Castelbayac. He's created costumes for Woody Allen's films and some of Lady Gaga's shows. His Christmas tree seems to be in disguise. I wanted to abandon the whole notion of a tree. I wanted to create something that stays the whole year round, like a piece of art. And yet it was still important to me. Christmas trees have that scent of lost childhood. For Darocha, the Christmas bauble remains a staple of seasonal decoration. He's ordered pastel-coloured baubles from the same German company that supplied the baubles for his metallic Christmas tree. We spend between 50 and 70,000 euros here on materials and accessories for our creations. In Germany alone, consumers spent about 2.7 billion euros on festive products in 2012. Whatever happens in 2013, one thing is for certain. There'll be plenty of reindeer about next season. We never tire of Christmas. After all, our profession is a magical one and we can come up with our own trends. On the contrary, in fact, it's really exciting. The year is hardly over and we're already in the mood for trying out new materials and colours. For everyone else who needs a break from Christmas, there are ten months left before it's time to celebrate another festive season.